Hello everyone, welcome back to Enshrouded. So I've made a little bit of progress since you've last, well, since the first episode. I went ahead and streamed for a couple hours and did all the stuff you guys asked for in the comments. I did the uh, grappling hook, I've got the glider wingsuit, and then I went a little bit farther and I was able to rescue the blacksmith, which was the very first mission to do. That's him. Oi! And I built him a uh, charcoal kiln and a forge here so he can craft metal sheets. And then with the blacksmith, the and glory. here's where I did the forge and the charcoal kiln. We can make nails, felling axes, pickaxes. Uh, so these are like a metal form of the, the, the stone ones that I can make. We can make a better shield. We can make a spike club. I made this scrappy sword here. And then I went ahead and made some armor. So this helmet, this chest piece, I didn't make the gloves. I made the trousers and the boots. And then you obviously, there's a fur armor set here. I don't know if there's a cold region or what. And you can make some dishes. Anyway, that's that. He's pretty cool. Well rested. Huh. Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire roof over your head and some meat in your belly. Prepare for anything. Cool. Because that's what we're doing right now. Our mission is to enter the elixir well. And this sounds dangerous. It's an overgrown pit. Uh, spitting corruption and fumes into the air from below. Uh, enter the elixir well to find the root of its evil, uh, evil and eradicate it. Apparently, there's some kind of boss guy down here. And this is actually down here in this valley right here, which is all enshrouded. So, yeah, we got that going. Now, it looks like while I'm in here, it's not running down my food and all that. So, let's we'll take a quick look at what I've got made. We're going to go right into this. So... Uh, I made this. I've got this is my sword. This is my little wand that I made. It's terrible, but it does work a little bit. I found this sword, so we're gonna just keep it for now. See if it does anything. It's a little bit less than the one I crafted. I found this bow, and I made the pickaxe and the axe for getting stuff. And then down here, we just got some grilled mushrooms. We got a couple things of berries. We've got the grilled meat that gives us constitution, not constipation, some stamina recharge, and then one constitution here. Now, where that's at up there, I think it seems like it's maxed out. The only thing I don't get yet is, like, how do I know the world time? Like, I'm ready to go. But if I start going and it's, it's nighttime, like, that's not going to be good. I guess I could look at the sun. Right, let's get away from this thing and see. Yeah, see, I've got no foods ticking away right now. All right, let's just do this. Let's do this, man. I don't know any other way. So I'm going to... I'm going to take a mushroom. Well, let's do it this way. We're going to go one. Okay, that didn't do anything. Three. Okay, and we'll leave it at that. We're right at the max. Okay, so with our wingsuit, we should be able to kind of fly down to this thing. Uh-huh. Where I got the blacksmith is we crossed the bridge and we walked down through the shrouded area, and he was it's right over there. Here's the bridge we cross, or you walk down through the shrouded, went to here, and then while... Just going around here, I found this scavenger camp I could get to once I got the um, once I got the grappling hook. Here we go. Now, I haven't been down here, so I don't. I mean, I haven't been over to here. There it is. Okay. Oh shoot! Oh jeez! Oh, I just took a ton of damage. I just took a ton of fall damage right there. That's not a good way to start this bad boy. All right, 
We're good. We're good. All right. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I wonder if... Uh... Dude, he hit twice. I was ready to block, but he hit twice. I wonder if this is going to clear up after I do this. All right, these things here, I believe, will restore my enshrouded time so I can clear these fools out here. That's right, son. Okay. Don't mess with me. Yeah, I don't know if they think if it clears, like if the game, if like you defeat certain things, if it clears the enshrouded areas or what. But those things will reset my time. So I can look around a little bit. I still hear grumblings and grovelings. I guess we gotta go up here. Oh, shoot, what was that? I think some, oh, this dude, what? Dude, he got a shot off on me. I did not even see him stand on that dang corner. Replen return beacons, replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Stand near them to feel their effect. Oh. Well, I don't have to go back and drink that thing then. Okay. So, down in there. Or is it down this way? Location above. Well, the, this guy. Oh, shoot. I blocked his first hit. Not a very good fight. I can tell you that for free. So what's weird is it's like, oh, there's another dude right here. He's throwing arrows at me. I kind of like that purple color showing their like their levels and stuff. I guess I go down that other way. Here's a book to read. Collect that thingy. There's a lot, a lot of stuff here. Here's one of those restored time things. Oh, shoot. Bugs. Critter parts. All right. I don't know what the critter parts are for, but dang, this whole area is so big down here. Thought I heard another critter over there. All right, I guess we go down that, that one area. See these things? Like, I don't know if these are the things that are creating the shrouded. Like, the thing I just blew up over there, then this thing. Oh, shoot. Nasty. That looks like an explosive barrel right there. It is. All right. Let's go stand by this thing. That thing just was confusing me. It was saying above. All right, full time. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's super deep. I tried to jump off it, grab the ladder. Oh, it is super deep. There's there's some bad looking dude down there. Like a What's his name from Skyrim? Oh jeez. If 
I can use some magic on him at distance. Oh, shoot. Uh. Oh, shoot. Ah! It says effective. Oh, that guy's got some juice. He's so fast. Get away from me, dude. I can't even outrun him. Oh, he tried to kick me. That's not cool. Yeah. Can you fly? I can, sucker. This, thing's, this stupid little cheap wand is pretty effective against this guy. Fell Thunder Brute. Dude, you better drop something for me. Oh, yeah, he did. He dropped a, wow, higher level sword. That's for certain. Now what do I do? The Shroud Root is a source of misery. Destroy it with a felling axe. Oh, jeez. Good thing I brought a felling axe. Oh, my gosh. It... Good thing I brought a felling axe with me. Wait a minute. Did it clear the enshrouded? At least it did. It did right here. It did right here. Oh, wow. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably better to shoot him than <laughs> go up and blow him up with your face. Okay. Get all that stank out of here. Whoa, dude, there's a hole right there. There's a hole in my pocket. All right. So, is this now like something? Shroud root. Did that thing just come back? I feel like those, thing, those things are coming back. Let's take a look and see. You currently don't have any unfinished quests. Look at this. 14 damage. It's less than that, but it... It's gotta be good! It's epic! And what's this? Oh, we should probably just get out of here instead of looking at all this stuff in here. Probably have to exit this place before it... So... I cleared the enshrouded stuff down here, or at least that section. Was that something right there? It was. Oh, shoot! Bugs! Yeah. Critters. Critters! Okay. I think they're... Wow, I didn't... You know the one thing I don't have is a dang torch. But this thing lights up a little bit. Take all... Okay. I mean, this... Look at that. We're like at the center of the earth down here. That's where we just were. What's this thing? A cauldron or something. Look at that. Any more of those thingies down here? Oh, there's one up there. I don't know if I need to take all those things out or not. Alright, let's go back up, I guess. Now, I didn't look out. Oh, that's just a lookout out there. Holy cow. What if you fell off there? So, the tree is the source. Not all those little pustules that I'm shooting out. The tree is the source. So, any, any areas that are enshrouded will, will have some kind of giant tree. Elixir well. 
Oh, this this is new. Whoa, legendary shepherd staff. I want to do kind of a. I wanted to do kind of a wizard build. Wizard build. Why didn't? Why didn't it? <laughs> I almost fell all the way back down. Now it's still jacked up here, though. Location reached. Wait a second. Is something bad gonna happen here? I want to uh, get rid of this guy. I want this guy and this guy. What is this? It's staff. Oh, this is charges for this staff. This guy. Cast spell charged. Ranged weapon. How many are there? There's eight of them. Oh, it's like a healing charge? Location reached. Hey, is that something? There's something glowing up there. Well, there's bad dudes here still. These arrows aren't that strong. But that guy's not that smart either. He gone. Will that say start something? Shroud wood. There's that guy over there. I've got a magic wand. Okay, we got some enshrouded going on, some stuff going on that way. Ow! I knew that guy was there. I didn't know he was an archer. Tell you, this little wand works pretty good. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Are we supposed to go home? Keep looting this area down here. Okay. I think I'm going to go try and get that thing up there that's blinking. There's a couple of things actually up there. How do I get up there? There's got to be a grapple or something. You see, there's there's like one th right over my head there and right up there. There's two things that I might be able to climb down there. There's somebody over here. Oh, are, is that a grappling? Oh, shoot. Is that a grappling hook? Because I just saw the other one over there. Uh, oh, shoot. It um, it flickered, and it was the that grappling hook here. Oh, shoot. Okay. Why isn't it daytime? Okay. So I got to the things I wanted. It was exactly what I thought. It was grappling hook places. And this, a bet maybe hopefully a better bow than what I've got. So we got one grappling hook thing there, one there. I guess these are the rewards. Okay. Two grapple hook locations here, but for what? Nothing, really. Sh 
shroud liquid. Alright, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Go home? I think we're supposed to go home. Let's look at our... So we don't actually don't have any... You currently don't have any unfinished quests completed. Clear the elixir well. That's what we just did. Destroy the shroud root location. Okay. So we don't have any quests right now, but let's go home then. I think this area here, there might be more stuff to, uh... To loot? But it's... I don't know. We'll see. I got two or three of the chests, so that's pretty good. Let's see if we go ahead and sleep it off. Take a look at what we actually got. It's funny, because some can be, like, uh, better rarity, but not really showing you straight up better damage. But that's okay. I want a better wand. Not necessarily a staff, but a wand. I think this staff is only going to heal me. Now, metal block... Mycelium, this is just a rake. This is new. A rake. Flattened ground. Okay, that's just for like building stuff. All right, so nothing new open there. Nothing new in here. Now we're going to look at what I got. So my first bow is this. And then my next bow is this. Draw speed one. Stamina costs 15, max durability, arrow speed. Arrow speed's faster, doesn't cost me. And if I upgrade it, I can get increased backstab damage and increased critical hit if I upgrade this with these runes. And then, so this is this thing. Its brain has been replaced by fungi and slush, but it's still tremendously heavy. The face is permanently petrified with bitter expression. It's a material. It's a material to upgrade something. And here's a shroud core. Now, one thing I wanted to do eventually was to strengthen the flame. And th this is what it was. I don't remember what it was. Spark. I don't know what a spark is yet. Everything else on here I can collect, but I can't do a spark. So let's go into this special bin I have here. And until we figure out what the heck this is, we're going to just put it away. And we're going to put this away. And then this is materials, and so is critter parts. Uh, we can put critter parts somewhere else. That can go in there. Uh, our runes, we have 125 runes. Mycelium we found down there. We're going to put this in there. So heal channel staff charges. So these are used up when you use this staff. This is a ranged weapon with legendary power, or legendary. But I believe staffs use charges. You have to have charges. So there's that. So we'll take our bow there, and I'll put this new bow here. We're obviously going to... This rusty sword, this bronze sword, cutting, piercing, 14. Let's salvage that. We're going to keep, these are our two tools, right? We keep our tools. I got my new bow so we can unequip that bow and then salvage it. All right, and put these in here. And here we've got those and shroud wood. And then in here, we'll put the critter parts and this mycelium. So that's pretty good. Now I could go upgrade this. So this thing here, this number three. Hey. Like I made this other, I made this thing. And it's 16 damage. And if you look here, it's got it's got most half cutting, a little piercing, blunt, and poison. This one has got way more cutting, 
a little piercing, no blunt, no poison. But if I upgrade it, you can do plus two to cutting damage. Plus two to cutting damage, which is going to max that out. Plus two to piercing damage. And then ambush. Increase ambush damage by 20. I don't usually ambush people, so. And then this one, vicious, increase backstab, increase crit. I don't know if it's, like, too early to actually be upgrading this stuff. Increase mana regen by one. I wonder what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to take those charges out of my inventory. And I'm going to see if this staff does anything. Q to ready for ranged weapon. No ammo. Okay, it's, it's yeah, you have to have those charges. So you can hold Q and it does that. Or you hold left click and it does that and shoots it. I guess this can like aim in and do this and then release it. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> All right. So it says flame altar and base improvements. Collect sparks. We have a quest. I need to figure out how to collect sparks. Exactly what I said I wanted to do. It wants me to do. The flame can be strengthened at the flame altar. This empowers you to pierce the shroud further it gives you a minute longer of stay time in there and to construct more base protect ember veil from its reach in order to strengthen the flame sparks and other materials need find sparks in flame sanctums and flame shrines is that a flame altar oh okay so look i went here before we just got to continue on past it over to there. Is it, is it morning or night or? Do we, do we need to take the, do we need to take this right now? Seems like we have to be able to craft this stuff. It does 17 healing either. It says it's a ranged weapon and it does 17 healing. So, what is that? Does that mean... Okay, I think it's morning time. Let's just go. I'm going to grab some more. So, Because if we're going to be running, I might need to boost my stamina. Stamina regen. Okay, do this one. Ooh, someone sounded like someone was to the left of me. So I had to climb up here to get to that other place. Now this this stuff that I'm wearing, it actually gave me a boost to like a little stamina boost. I think it gave me a couple of boosts. Maybe some health boost. Now back here is where I found that thing. Yeah, see? All right. If I go here and I hit number four, should increase my, my stamina regen. Do these guys... Oh, these guys respawned. Okay. I'm gonna blow up their house. You like me now, punks, huh? There was a chest under here before, under these things. Like that. This is where I, I think this is where I found the bow. I'll take it. Uh-oh, stuck, I got a little stuck there. What is that? Oh, it's that little rabbit on the wall. <laughs> Poor little fella. All right. Wolf. Wow, 
I blocked him once and he got still got a bite in on me. And he didn't give me any meat. Take some berries. Get that heal back up. Alright, so there's a scavenger camp right here that they'll be respawned in. These guys were no joke. But my my little wand is super effective against these guys, man. I'm shocked it's so effective. Oh, there's a doggy. Actually try to switch to my sword there. I didn't realize I was still on that. Okay. That's alright. That's okay. Well, we gotta get up there before it gets dark. Alright, so in here there was a couple of chests, some bombs. Take this thing and open the mine minecraft. Mine shaft. Fine. Oh, it's already open. But it's open again. Oh, a better wand. Oh, dude. I just got a better wand, I think. So this one does 11, and it's all ice damage. This one does crackling. It's 14, that it does fire damage. All right, I, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this now. We're going to move this stuff over. We're going to put it next to it. Because the... Whoa, the ice, um, the ice was doing well against some. Maybe the fire will do well against others, you know? Okay, so out that way somewhere, eh? Oh, it's pretty, it's actually back, it's pretty far out there. So if we stay on the road, it's we get a benefit to staying on the road a little bit. Dang, I can't wait to have like an epic wand. One that maybe does like fire ice and like multiple things. I did see, I was talking on the stream and I was saying that I like, you know, I never really get to play as a wizard. <laughs> but I saw in the trailer to this, they had... A guy, there was someone who was playing, had the wizard hat on, and he was totally cast. It was pretty cool. We'll see. We shall see. We need to collect some spocks. Oh, three, three wolves right there. This world is pretty big. This looks like it cuts back this way, though. We don't want to go that way. We want to go to the right. I don't know what the heck could be in there, but... Maybe while we're here, we should just glance over here. It's a shrouded area. Oh, is that a tree? Oh, there's a tree in here. Oh, I just fell down in here. Oh, no! That's red! Oh, no! Okay. I believe that's red. And you can't go in there. So, mm. Maybe the game will lead us to that later on. I was told to go into red areas, we have to increase our altar, which is what we're trying to do right now. Oh, this one flies slower than my ice one. Wow, luckily I got to jump. Did you see how fast that red was taking me out? Like, taking me out to dinner. Okay, alright. It's like a village. Is that a chest over there?
think I need to get rid of that other sword if I'm going to use this one. Because I keep going the wrong way with it. Alright, so. Alright, we got critters. We got a level up. We also got poison. Skill point, finally. That's only my second dang skill point. Seems like we don't want to get poisoned. It's going back up. All right, let's go where we're supposed to be going. Some kind of flame altar. A... Oh, shoot. All right, there's a lot of dudes in there. Oh look, some different kind of berries. Tomatoes. Is it, is it up there? I thought it was here. Um, it's up there. I wonder if I have to go back the way I dropped in. I just found some tomatoes. What do tomatoes do for us? Dexterity, interesting. Look at that house right there. I want to go to that house. Little shrouded area there. Now we're really starting... We're starting to get a feel for like how big this world is. This is a little tiny area of it. Hopefully we can cre keep increasing like our, our stamina. How the deuce do you get up there? How do you get up there? That other way that I was here? Because this just keeps going and going. I'm looking for... I didn't see any grapple points. Could have been better, but it wasn't, so we got that. I figure while I'm here, before I go back, I should at least check out the house. Peaceful acres. Doesn't seem so peaceful. There's bugs and everything around here. Corn. All right, they're growing. Ow! What the? Mole rats, dude! What game is this? Stinking mole rats. Okay. Loot that, loot that. Loot that. Lock picks for days. Some wood. How's my backpack doing? It? Eh, we're doing okay. Some wax for your ears. Okay. Some nails. Nailed it. Okay. Should be a place to sleep, I would think, in this place. String. There's the bed. Another bow. What is that bow? It's a hunter's bow. This one is, that's common. This is a hunter's bow. 10 power, 10 power. Yeah, I think the bow I have is better.
Lock pick action. Backpack full. All right, we're gonna take this guy and salvage it. Uh, what else do we got in here? If I cook some of that meat, I could stack that. I'll take this and use it. Range damage bonus. Still full. Okay. Oops. Wrong buto. Bones. Uh, what is this? Dried purple berry. One health regen. I don't know where I got those from. I mean, I could just drop something. Wait, this thing here. 14 damage. 14 damage. That's 14 damage. That's 16 damage. I think we'll salvage that. And then I'll take this. What is this? Two minutes max. Oh, time in the shroud. Okay. More dried purple berries. Not getting the warmth here. Again, I'm still a little confused about the time of day. <laughs> so there's that. Was this fire actually going? It wasn't going. I'm gonna have to clear my inventory a little bit because, see, here's corn. Can I make a campfire and cook? Let's see. Crafting. Uh, campfire. Wood logs. Didn't I collect a bunch of logs in there? Must have collected one log. Let's see if I can cook on a campfire, because it'll help me, uh... Oh, I need a slot. Uh... Delete. Crafting. Campfire. Backpack. Uh... There we go. Oh, I gotta put my my stuff to cook on here. Okay. So that added to that. I got three of these guys. Okay, that's one. Three. Okay. So that's good. Gives me two spots here. For now. I think I've got everything raw cooked. Got that all stacked there. Probably don't need to take this with me and this with me. I need to probably don't need to take three stacks of berries with me, you know. Um, but this was a it's a trial run. We gotta figure out how the heck to get up there. It looks like there could be a green pathway from the way I came in, but now I just gotta try and get back up that thing. got some new food over here tomatoes there's uh i didn't grab any of those corn in the field but there's berries uh like prune type of berries and then tomatoes and corn i guess you could probably start growing that stuff like at your house maybe maybe try this again see if this is the way to go don't go that way whatever you do danger is its middle name well 
Wow, I don't know how the heck to get up there. Maybe this way? I think this is the way. Hopefully we increase our stamina so we can and our speed that we can run run faster and better. Whatever it is, it's pretty fast. Crit 22? Oh, a fur patch. Gotta like a fur patch. <laughs> That's what it said. Look, you pick it up. Fur patch. I'm not making this stuff up. You guys think I'm making it up. All right, location reached. This seems dangerous. It's never good. These lovers sought refuge in the flame, but it warms them no longer. Offer its spark to the flame altar in your home. What? new lore. So these things, these lore things I've found are um, opening up areas in the map. Like, look. What is that? My fire? Perfect acres. So if you look over here, here's like a book or lore that I read over here. This was one of those early ones I read in this long keep area. Collect a spark. Okay, so you come all the way over here to get one spark, and I think it only takes one spark to increase your your thingy. This is weird that this is here. Like, this is for... Uh, I wonder if any of this stuff is going to drop me, like, something good. Like, let's see. If I use a pick on this... Like, metal... Drop in the Shroud Survival Flask. These guys... Salt? I just... I was tired of them, uh... Telling me to talk to these guys. Mana Potion. Dude, do not... Oh, look at that! Metal, okay, that stuff is hard to, not hard, it's, it's expensive. Whatever, I'm gonna eat a tomato. Metal sheets, you have to use all your other stuff. Water. So you can get some stuff. More water. rock. I think we're done here. Alright, let's go back. Flame Sanctum. Alright, we're gonna go back to our home. It's good that we don't have to run all the way back. That would be kind of a pain in the backside. Alright, now we gotta put some stuff away so I can actually grab the stuff that I need. So like uh, metal scraps. What else goes in here? Fur. I think I need some fur. String goes in here. Um, that goes in here. Okay. And here be any potions that we got. And bombs. I need this guy. What is this? Critter parts? I don't remember where I put the dang critter parts. In here, critter parts, metal, nails, wood, fiber, wax, fur, bones. Okay, and then into this guy. So there's all the 170. And we're gonna put salt in there because it. I've got some stuff in here. It seems like that might be unique. 
Oh, I thought we got two metal plates. There was only one there. Rip off. I can keep this on me. I think we'll put the metal in here for now. And I'm going to take a stack of this out. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put this in here and this in here. That should put that there. Put my two things there. Leaves us a spot here. All right, we're gonna find out what we need here again. I don't remember. So resin, red mushrooms, and bones. Red mushrooms. Oh, those are cooked though. No, they're not. Red mushrooms. Bones. Uh, resin. I think I needed some of that liquid, uh, this stuff. Now it says strength in the flame, flame altar and base improvements. Okay, I need two more resin and I need animal fur. All right, we got that. Animal fur. I hope, uh, I hope I, I want to do the second one. I don't want to do the first one. The first one is like it, well, maybe I have to do that. You know, the first one is like, basically tells me I'm expanding my base building area, which I don't know. It doesn't, right now I don't need to expand my base building area, but it, it might be something that uh, I need to do. If you look, well, if I have my hammer in my hand, you can see it goes to about here. That's about how far. It's a 40 by 40. I just saw one of those douchers walking around over there. We're getting a little bit more resin. Or not. No, no more resin. There's some. Two. That might be enough. Get some more mushrooms while we're here. Oop. Oop. I built this little add-on for the blacksmith. I don't want that guy coming in while I'm in here. All right, so it says strengthen the flame. We can up, up, upgrade altar. It extends its building range 40 by 40 by 40 strengthen the flame here gain global benefits we get uh another minute in the shroud another minute in the shroud shroud passage level to two some attribute bonuses and activate i still need another resin i'm guessing that it's saying strengthen it in one one you know either one of those ways right And not every tree gives you resin. Does it have to be a certain looking tree? No resin there. Does it have to be like a pine looking tree or something? I'm getting some wood. Tell you that for free. What the deuce? Okay, how about number four? I'm going to speed up my uh, stamina replenishment. Weird. I'm not getting... I was like... I guess I didn't have that much resin, so I wasn't getting resin from everything. There's one. I need two, right? Or one, two. I got two. Perfect. All right. Took a few felling of trees, but we got it. All right. I just want to double check this. So, flame altar and base improvements. 
Rewards. 75 eggs. You've obtained a spark. Use the spark to strengthen the flame at your flame. Strengthening the flame at the flame altar increases your shroud passage level and to establish more bases. Well, that's that one that I want to do. Strengthen the flame. And it says it right here. Strengthen the flame, not upgrade altar. So, booyah. Okay, I think we did good. <laughs> You're like, just read the screen, media. It says right there what it wants. I know. I'm just trying to be sure. Uh, resin. I'm just going to put everything back for now. All right, so sticks, twigs, bones. And then oh, what I'm doing is I'm like holding on to mushrooms and stuff for later on. I was told that eventually I can make health potions and I'm going to want a lot of berries and mushrooms. So I can start holding on to that stuff. These are, these are grilled, these are not. So why didn't those go in there? There. I don't know if I have to carry around this water either. The water is endurance and stamina recharge. Oh, I don't know, water might be good. My glow and warmth reach further into the darkness thanks to you, Flameborn. I am strong enough to protect your home should you choose to expand it. Okay. New quest, flame altar and base improvements. Uh, they want us to upgrade. Uh, expand your home. The spark of its knowledge is erupted within. Ready yourself to unveil the secrets or past. Find the two ancient obelisks of the Springlands to learn the world's fate. A story of rot and fire. Only those who seek the truth shall find it. Okay. So, we have new quests. We have this again. Upgrade the flame altar. So that's the first one. But we got to find, I'm sure we need to find another one of those things. A story of fire. Look at the reward. I think that's a spark. I, I think that's a spark. That's what we need right there. And then a story of rot. So this is like purple. They're both purple. Let's see how far they are. Oh, geez. There's a story of rot and a story of fire. Okay. Well, the story of fire is closer. Here's that flame sanctum. Here's the peaceful acres. It's past that. So that's going to be way, way closer than this guy. Eventually, I'm going to make another one of those things and put it out. I don't know which, like, how the directions go in the map so far. Now, do I upgrade these things? Like, okay, you see, you just go here and it repairs everything in your inventory, which is awesome. All items are repaired. So, I made, the things you make, I was told, you can't upgrade with the runes and you can see there's no upgrade thingies here but if you look at this it shows you here's the upgrade plus two fire magic damage plus two ice armor so that probably would be good to upgrade my this guy the thing is attack speed is 0.6 now oh, they're both the same this ice one just seems to travel faster so i haven't upgraded anything yet let's just try it I think the ones I was looking at was like 12 runes for every upgrade. So if we go to equip, enhance equipment. We go to our crackling wand. And it's 12 to upgrade it. Look at the bronze sword. It has four spots and the hunter's bow's got two. So we're going to take this and we're going to enhance it twice. Did take the damage up, which is good. And then if I'm going to be using this epic bronze sword. 12. Two, two, two. There we go. 20 damage. Huh? Hunter's bow? Why not? Thank you. <laughs> like standing right close to him. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. All right, we still got 50, but we had 170, so I did go through a lot there. All right, next episode, obviously, we've, we're geared up. We're going to head back over where we were. Past Peaceful Acres to the Story of Fire. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Join me next episode. Thanks for watching.